Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. This issue of Ramadan beginning and moon sighting beginning and moon sighting ending and iftar beginning and for every month and for every holy occasion and for everything that's happening now, it has the sickness of ananiya, of my eyeness, where I deem myself to be important, therefore I should see it. If I didn't see it, it's no longer valid. Where this eyeness in the schools of tarbiyah is that to train yourself you don't exist. And that you're of no real importance. In the scheme of this whole creation, you are something non existent. You're a dot on this earth. This earth is a dot in this galaxy. This galaxy is a dot in infinite universes. Do you think anyone really cares? No. If the day you believe that, is the day of your birth and the day of your reality and the opening of that reality. And awliyaullah come into our lives and to teach us that everything is happening in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad If our belief, go back to our belief, if our belief is that Sayyidina Muhammad Hadirul Nadir that he is alive in his grave and that location is Madinatul Munawwara that Sayyidina Muhammad in his ruhaniyat, in his, his soul is more alive than anything in their physicality. And the commander of the universes is his station, Malik al-Hayat and Malik al-Dunya. Then you would think that every event and every month tajalli, every holy event is happening by the command of Allah onto the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So by means of the soul being in Madinatul Munawwara, that's where everything is starting and everything is ending, the beginning to every reality. So means that it's not important what I think and what I see and what I don't see. You think of the adab, if your belief is correct, Ahl sunnah wa jama'ah believe that Prophet is alive. Imagine then when a holy event is taking place, the masjid becomes full of people because one, Allah's will was that day is the holy day. You agree, you don't agree, you didn't see it, you did see it, Allah's not asking you. When Allah opens Masjid and Nabawi and an event is taking place, are you under the impression that Sayyidina Muhammad says, Oh no, no, I, I don't agree with today, I'm staying in my roots, I'm not coming out to bless the people in my masjid. Is, um, could you possibly think that? Oh, no, 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 I have nothing to do with it. I'm ignoring all these 10 million people who are sitting outside. Or well, this is the perfect servant of Allah that whatever Allah has ordained, that's exactly the way it's going to be and exactly the way Sayyidina Muhammad will celebrate it. So then Ramadan begins when Sayyidina Muhammad begins. As soon as Medina announces and the Masjid al Nabawi participates, know that with all our heart and soul, the Rosa Sharif is participating in that, and that is the event that's taking place. So, all of this guessing is from our eyeness and putting my importance in everything and every president of every mosque who thinks he's the president of the universe and every imam of something thinks he's the imam of everything. If the eyeness doesn't end, it's always going to be sick and every jama'ah behind you missing everything. 
They're late to every event and they miss every event. And the real tradition and the real reality was based on when Medina calls. When Medina begins, we begin. When Medina celebrates, we celebrate not because of those people who manage that madhab but because our sultan is based there. That the light of Sayyidina Muhammad is there and khuluq al azim that whatever Allah has ordained He is submitting and He is beginning. So we start when Prophet starts, we end when Prophet ends. Our mirage is on the night that Prophet is going up. Not based on when I saw, when I came, you'll always be late and you'll miss every holy event. It's like somebody come and tell you, this bus is right here in front of our building. It comes at 8 o'clock and the arrogance of people, no, 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 and then they start roaming all around looking for where the bus is. Yahoo, by the time the bus came and left, you're still looking because of the arrogance. They want to know, when is this holy event, when is this mirage, when is Laylatul Qadr, when is all this? You don't have to worry about any of that. That's why all the training for every event, every zikr that we've said is, see your soul at Ruza Sharif. See your soul in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad said, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, my soul always here at your Ruza. That don't let me to take my hands off of this station and this maqam, your nazar be upon me. Whatever tajalli is going to come, when Laylatul Qadr is coming, Allah Zawajal, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul Urul Am. Allah might and majesty begin to dress the soul and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad for everything and from the light of Prophet emanates out. So if you had Rosa Sharif, why would you miss anything? Because it's coming for Prophet When would it begin? When you had Rosa Sharif. When would it end? When you had Rosa Sharif. Everything will be dressed from that location and that reality and by not having that and these arguments they're showing their sickness to Allah They've lost their faith these people, they've lost their belief, they lost the concept that Sayyidina Muhammad is alive, very much alive and he's the commander of every reality. And every izzah and might of Allah is in the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad And by showing that sickness you're guaranteeing Allah to send difficulty upon the nation so that they come back to their belief and the correct understanding that take ourselves out of the equation, take our importance out of every equation and return back to the love and the majesty of Sayyidina Muhammad And through the real understanding of La ilaha illallah and only way to understand that reality is through the door and the gate of Muhammadun Rasulullah We pray that Allah address us and bless us. We will break for iftar and be back for some mawlid and zikr inshaAllah. This is a night of of immense blessings all the way to the Eid al-Fitr that Allah to give the rewards of those who've been fasting, who intended to fast or know somebody that was fasting inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad Mustafa Bi Siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe. <laughs>